today I'm doing something a little different. Um, the beginning of 2017, I think, uh, this little craze started with the fidget spinners. You probably know from the title. Um, they, I bought one, or I didn't buy it, but I got one uh, to see what it was all about. And I got to say, I, I kind of like them, but they're very hard to get your hands on. So today I decided to mess with Legos and build five of them. So, I, they aren't the best, um, I do have two that I really like, but, yeah, so let's get on. It's a real simple one, uh, you need one of these weird X things, um, uh, this, doesn't matter how, like, long, you, and it could be any color, obviously, uh, uh, mine personally is ten little brick things long, and two of these. They don't have to have the holes in the middle, but you know they can. And one of this. So you get the two rectangles and put them together like stair steps, and then have them hang off the white. Like that. And then stick this piece into the middle hole of all of these. And then get the long piece and put it in. This one's not really a fidget spinner, really, um, but it is really fidgety. And if you could just shake it around. It's pretty fun. You can do whatever you want with it. But yeah, on to the next one. So this is the next one. Um, spins pretty well. It's way better than the other one. So yeah, let's... Okay, so before I begin this little tutorial, these are two red bricks that I put together with the little gray inserty things. I don't really know how to explain it, but that's all you need to know. So need those need two of these they have to be four long and one wide and they have to have these little holes just two of them and then you need two of these one hold double pieces two of these red x connectors and an x rod so you want to grab the two red bricks and just put the rod right in it and that's almost already done and then put these little X connector rod things on it to keep it stable and try to make the red thing uh, the red bricks as centered in the middle of the thing as possible and that's pretty much it the rest is just extra weight so that it spins better so you want to get it like this and then put one of the gray four pieces, it doesn't have to be gray, obviously, on the front. And then put another on the other side, but on the bottom. So it looks like that. And then get the white ones and put it on the above. And creates this with the white on both sides. So on to the next one. Okay, so this was one... Um, that I wanted to do just so everyone uh, who's watching it could make it no matter what Legos you have. Um, the most you'll need is a few of the bricks with holes in them. And this weird piece, where it's like a connector, but it's double on one side. So, all the pieces are right here. So you need a red little guy like this with that exact number of holes and a gray four piece on top. I just connected them. They're not one brick, obviously. And then the same thing, but with a gray brick on the bottom and then two blue ones with the gray bricks and a single gray. So what you want to do, I actually forgot, that's why I cut it, but you want to get the long part of this weird connector piece and put it in the middle of this gray, this dark gray brick, and then get a red piece and put 
four bricks over it so that there's two left on the gray piece. And then do the same thing on the bottom, but a little backwards. And that's the whole thing done. The rest is just extra weight. And it doesn't really, it doesn't spin well unless you put the middle thing on right. So put the blue pieces on the edges like that. And it makes this. This is a pretty good spinning one. It's, pre it's pretty good. But on to the next one. So this next one is my favorite, but it's also the most expensive to make. Um, so, I mean, like, Lego-wise. So, you're going to need eight of these four-by-one bricks. Eight of them. And then you're going to need two of these. They have to be that long, too. Two of these. And one of this. And that should be it. So what you want to do to start off is get one of the really long gray bricks and put the smaller gray brick right in the center. And then get the, the smallest gray brick and put it on one side and get the other, put it on the other side. So it makes that. And then just clip the other long piece down like that and you have most of it done already so this is actually this actually has two designs so what you want to do is you want to get um, this little pinwheel thingy and the X rod and two X connectors on it and stick it right through the middle and then put two X connectors on to keep it stable try to make it as centered as possible otherwise it won't spin very well and don't put it on too tight don't put the X connectors on too tight otherwise it won't spin very well so now all you got to do is get the as many four by one bricks you can get four of them stack them on top of each other and put it on top and then do the same with these ones And that will make another four. And now it's an X, and you're done. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cheap. The most you'll need is these pinwheel thingies. You don't even need them. Um, it might actually work better without them. But, yeah, on, on to the last one. And this one's actually my favorite because it looks really cool when you spin it. So... Okay, so this is it. Uh, it, get, it gets caught in your finger a lot. But it's... You need one of those, like, techie Lego kits with gears and stuff to make this at all because it's, like... I've never actually seen any Legos like this before uh, building this. So, yeah, let's take it apart and build it. Okay, so this is an X-Rod with... A connector piece and two of these. Yeah. You want to make sure that you don't put it through that X thing, otherwise, it won't spin at all. And make sure to put these connector pieces um, to keep it from moving around too much. And make sure it's centered as it can be. Try to center it a little more. And then get another X rod and put it in one side that I told you not to put the other one in. And then put a X connector thing on it. I honestly have like no idea what to call it, so I should call it X connector. And then get your white pinwheel thing. And put it there and then get a gray gear it has to be like just like that and stick it right in the middle of that that's half of it done 
and then you just want to do the same thing on the other side and connect it and it actually makes a really cool looking shape when it spins like it looks circular and it looks really cool so I, I tried to make some of these like so everyone can make them uh, and they're not too expensive to make and if you love this craze I don't really I don't enjoy it that much like compared to everyone else who's selling them at school for like twenty dollars I have no idea what's wrong with them but um they are pretty fun like if you're just sitting bored it's good to have one in your hand and you can do tricks with it sometimes not really with these ones I mean I guess you could with this one not really but it's also very since it has all the holes in it it uh you can't balance it because it'll the airflow will take it right off your fingers so yeah i'm kane i'm signing off i hope you love that um on on my other channel i'll have this in the end of the video um i gotta say my friend ivy uh she doesn't really do youtube that much but she gave me a she drew a picture of like me and a few random things and then I plugged them into my computer and I made them like cartoonish style and I posted that on uh on Team Legend. I don't know I don't even know if it's out yet. I think it's out. So if it's not out yet, um just be hyped for that on Team Legend because I'm pretty sure if it's not out yet, it's coming out very soon. And I'm also I also have a video um coming out soon on one of my channels of me burning all my school stuff. Because, like, I have this giant bag of papers and stuff. Because since I'm an avid student, you have to keep all your uh, papers. So I have all of them, and I get to burn all of them. Yay. Woohoo!